Uh, I'm going to read to you today out of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 10 through 13. It says, Because of God's grace to me, I've laid the foundation like an expert builder. Now others are building on it. But whoever's building on this foundation must be very careful. For no one can lay any other foundation other than the one we have already laid, Jesus Christ. Anyone who builds on that foundation may use a variety of materials, gold, silver, jewels, wood, hay, or straw. But on the judgment day, fire will reveal what kind of work each builder has done. The fire will show if a person's work has any value. And I've served as lead or soul pastor at several, at seven different churches over the course of the past 35 years. Uh, there's Freedom Baptist Church, which is part-time for 18 months while I was in seminary. I was in southern Indiana. There's Forks of Elkhorn Baptist Church, the first church in Kentucky. Um, I was there for three and a half years. That was the first full-time church that I served at while I was in seminary and then a little while afterwards. There's Middleton Baptist Church, where I was at for three years in southern Kentucky, south-central Kentucky. Then we moved to Amherst Baptist Church, which I was there for four years. That was the first church back in Virginia. From there, we moved to First Baptist Church in Collinsville. We were there for five years in southwest Virginia. And then we moved back to the eastern part of the state. Tucker Swamp Baptist Church is there for five years, near where Ann grew up, where she had family. And then we moved to Newbridge. And we've been here almost 14 years, 14 years in November. Uh, in each church, we have taken a slightly different approach to ministry. With differing worship styles, discipleship methods, outreach efforts, and fellowship opportunities. Yet, each church has been biblically based in its approach and Christ-centered in its message. As long as Jesus is the foundation, a biblically, biblically accurate Jesus, that is, the methods can differ. Whenever scripture is compromised or Jesus de-emphasized, that's when we fail. This is what Paul is talking about in chapter 3 of 1 Corinthians. As long as Jesus is the foundation, a church or an individual can use a variety of different materials, gold, silver, jewels. You can use a variety of different materials, methods, in ministering to others. No single method has been right or wrong. Neither hymns nor contemporary praise songs have been the better choice for worship. Neither Sunday school nor home groups has been the better choice for discipleship. Neither small home gatherings or church-wide events have been the better choice for fellowship. Each method may have been better in a specific situation or locale, but all were valid with Jesus as the foundation point? Methods can and will differ over time and in different locations, but the gospel message of Jesus Christ must remain faithful to Scripture, no matter what. Pray with me. Lord, we often choose our churches where we attend where we fellowship, where we worship, where we study, based on their methods. Sometimes we do so without even really considering the message. Help us to remember that the methods are not nearly as important as fidelity to the message. 
truth of the gospel, the truth of scripture as it points to you, Jesus, our Savior. It's in your name we pray. Amen. God bless you, friends. Hope you have a great day. See you again tomorrow.